our water transformer room there are two tanks one is water tank one another one is water tank two you can see here there are two uh, inlet line so this is connected with one another one is connected with tank two so there is a butterfly wall here we can uh, isolate and regulate uh, the water supply by moving the situation you can see here this is connected with tank one and that one is connected with tank two okay so you can here this is the inlet line so you can see here there is also another butterfly wall to control the water supply and there is a rubber coupling to avoid any vibration and hydraulic pressure in the line well so there are uh, four pumps you can see here all the pumps connected with uh, all the water supply line is connected with pump and there is a strainer okay so during the ppm we have to open the um, strainer there is a nut bolt you can uh, you can open it okay so there are one two three four five pumps are there so three will be running continually continuously and two will be in standby mode that means at a time five pumps will not work okay so three pump will be work and another two will be in standby you can see here this is the inlet line this is our pump downside is the pump and top one is the motor this is the outlet line you can see here there are also five outlets connected in a single pipe and there is a transducer pressure switch to monitor the water pressure we can uh, monitor the water pressure by the bms room this is the pressure switch we can monitor the water pressure you can see here there is a cable connected with the junction box which is connected with our bms that means building management system to monitor the water supply well so now we will go ahead this is the the pipe is connected with you can see here with the uv filter that means ultraviolet filter yeah this is the uv filter uv means ultraviolet uh, filter which is connected parallelly with our line so there is a panel to control the uv filter you can see here and also there is uh, you can see this is the outlet line from the uv filter as well as there are two lines you can see here one is directly connected to outlet of the pump another one is connected by via uv filters okay so you can see here both are connected with a single line you can see here see so there are two line connected with one line and there is one outlet is supplying water to the tank okay so this is the single line see you can see here there are two line connected with a single line so that means if in if there is any fault in the uv filter line then we can bypass it in case our uv filter will not work then we can bypass it so you can see here this is the pv tank pressure vessel tank we have installed in the pump okay so now i am opening the thread wall we can see it's thread wall okay so by opening the thread wall we can check our pv tank is working normally or not check the pv tank by the thread wall how we can check i will uh, make a different video because there is a big topic to understand about pv tank okay so once uh, you have checked the pv tank you have to check uh, the physical condition of the pv tank you need to check there is uh, a pressure gauge also in the pv tank okay so in downside there is a wall uh, for the maintenance of pv tank as well as it is connected with our water supply line okay so th this is a bladder type pv tank there are three three kind of pv tank so this is a bladder type pv tank that means there is a rubber bladder inside the pressure vessel tank which is operated by the atmospheric pressure you can see here this line is connecting parallelly with our water outlet line okay so this is uh, again a rubber coupling to avoid any vibration or hydraulic pressure in the line and you can see here in the outlet line there is a butterfly wall to control the water supply as well as for the maintenance of the pump okay so if uh, there are five pumps if one of the pump will be defective then we can close both inlet and outlet wall to dismantle the motor for maintenance work
okay so this is again the transducer pressure switch there are two type of switch electronics type and mechanical type this is electronics type transducer sensor which will uh, give the data to our bms as well as our mcc mcc means motor controlling center okay so i hope you understand 